At the end of May, my parents decided to come and visit me in the remote village. So I thought to take you along as well to show you around. We went for short and long walks so they could see the countryside's nature and the tranquility surrounding the remote village. I think this was also the best season as everything was green and started to bloom. ourselves with activities or things to do. We just took it easy, enjoyed every day as it came and worked around the garden or the house. Something I really wanted to take advantage while I wasn't on my own finally it was to have some sort of real seating area like a sofa. Of course it would have been too heavy for me on my own to sort out the transport and putting it together. But finally with the help of my parents we've been able to do it. And I have to say that it turned out pretty well and I kind of regretted not having it done before but as I said I couldn't do it on my own so it's one of those things that can be done when it needs to be done. And here the final result with the sofa finally it starts to look like a house <laughs> let's say like a normal house of course there's quite a few things around at the moment but we sort things out slowly but yeah so far not too bad I'm happy. I cannot tell you how happy I was for my parents to be there. Not only of course for the company and being able to show my parents around and everything, but also for the invaluable help that they gave me around the house. For example, if you remember last year, I found a broken, cut in half table in the barn and my dad decided to put it back together to actually have a real table in the house. And also this project turned out pretty well considering the starting situation. 
And the things I'm most happy about is that we've been able to save this hardwood table made probably centuries ago and turn it into a piece of furniture for the house. We also found this cute lamp and we decided to save it because, of course, it was nice and still usable. And here the final result of the vegetable patch after I planted these small plants that I done in the propagator. Here we have the chives which didn't quite <laughs> work as expected. I think next next year I will just put it I will just sow it directly in the ground because it suffered quite a lot the transplant let's say here there was supposed to be some rocket salad but I think it just didn't grow again the only one who kind of survived the, the planting have been just the spinach which grew quite a lot very well and the cabbages unfortunately for the rest it didn't salads i had to just sow them directly in the ground because as you as you've seen from the video it just didn't grow after two weeks so i just sow it directly in the ground once i prepared it i'm really sad for the cucumbers if you remember they were beautiful in the propagator set but as soon as i put them down in this in the soil they just didn't survive that's what's left unfortunately i think has it has been too cold for them so they kind of burn but with the cold weather and here i saw directly some dill which is slowly growing but yeah i think this year was kind of a trial to see what works better what doesn't so next year i know already how to start and yeah but i'm happy with what i've done so far and what i've learned Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.